Candace Skelton. I'm the nurse coordinator at Tampa General Hospital for the Living Donor Program. Exciting things are happening at the Living Donor Program. This week we were involved in the second longest pear kidney chain in the world. In 2011 we were involved with the longest uh, kidney chain in the world. These paired programs offer opportunities for recipients who otherwise would be incompatible with their donors to have the advantage of a living donor transplant. The chain that we were involved with last week um, was 28 patients deep, which means 28 recipients have the advantage of being transplanted with a living donor. Occasionally donors are incompatible with the recipients because they're a different blood type. Maybe the recipient has antibodies in their blood that would cause immediate rejection of their donor's kidney. So these national programs offer us an opportunity to list our patients with a national registry in order to give them the advantage of living donation. And living donation is the best option for kidney transplant recipients. Uh, for the most part, kidney, um, living kidneys last longer. They require less immunosuppression. This is a planned procedure where we can make sure the recipients are in the best condition possible. Pair donation is another option that Tampa General is providing for their kidney transplant recipients. And if you'd like to receive more information on living donation, please contact us at transplantkidneylivingdonor at tgh.org. Hello, Mr. Weeks, how are you? Doing good? Yes. Is everything okay? Yes, everything's fine. Mr. Weeks had a rare disease called focal segmental glomerulosclerosis, and he had kidney failure related to that. And he came to our program to get a kidney transplant. Unfortunately, his wife, who was willing to donate a kidney to us, was not a match. And he would have had to idly be on the waiting list to get a kidney from a deceased person. but. Luckily we have this spared kidney transplant chain program where a donor can donate a kidney to a common pool and can get a kidney from another donor. So successfully two months ago Mr. Weeks had a kidney transplant. Uh, it was the second part of a 28 pair chain which is supposedly the second longest chain in the country and Mr. Weeks has been doing really well and we, we are happy to have been able to help him. Hello, my name is Stefan Weeks. I'm 28 years old. I um, received a kidney on April 30th. I had a kidney transplant surgery. Um, I've been dealing with kidney issues and uh, chronic kidney disease since I was 12 years old. Okay. In October of 2012, I was added to the recipient waiting list. Because of my blood type, uh, the waiting period would be somewhere between two to three years. I was waiting for a transplant because my creatinine level was extremely high and the potential for me to go on dialysis was really high at that point. So uh, my family and my friends were looking into donating a kidney to me but no one was a direct match. So my wife ended up donating to someone in another state so into the, she donated a kidney into the pool, which gave me the opportunity to receive a kidney within the pool a lot sooner. Her donating her kidney to someone was able to give me another chance at life and the opportunity to live a very healthy and normal life moving forward. As soon as I woke up from surgery, I felt a lot more energy, I felt a lot better. Ever since the surgery, I've been able to do a lot more. I felt really healthy was because before the surgery, I was actually very tired. I could never get enough sleep. And now I'm waking up five, six in the morning, full of energy and able to spend a lot more time with my kids, play around with my kids, do things around the house and help my wife out. So it's definitely been a, a huge blessing for me. Uh, I'm Elizabeth Weeks. When I tell people about the fact that um, we just recently went through a, a kidney transplant for my husband, people are always like, oh my god, you know, are you are you guys okay? That must have been such a shock. But I've known my husband, so we went to high school together, so I've known him for a while, and I've always known of his kidney issues, so we knew 
one day it was something we were gonna have to do and something we were gonna have to face together. So when I tell people that I donated a kidney on behalf of my husband, everyone says to me, oh my God, that was such a selfless thing you do. But I look at it and that's the most selfish thing I can do because I want my husband to be with me for the rest of my life. My name is Dr. Samuel Weinstein. I'm a transplant nephrologist or a transplant kidney doctor at Tampa General Hospital. I've been involved in kidney transplantation for uh, 35 plus years. Uh, in the past when we tried to do a living donor renal transplant, meaning that uh, a friend or relative of a, a recipient, a patient with kidney disease, uh, required a transplant and was going to receive a transplant from a family member or a friend, we would evaluate them and attempt to match them with the recipient. Uh, sometimes these donors would be medically acceptable, but they weren't a match for the recipient and then the transplant could not be done. At the present time, there's 100,000 people waiting for kidney transplants in the United States. Usually there's about 12,000 deceased donor transplants in the United States and about 6,000 uh, living donor transplants. And so far in the last couple of years, we've done close to 800 transplants with these shared donors, which are where the donor's kidneys are transported around the country. Hi, I'm Dr. Victor Bowers. I'm the uh, Director of Abdominal Transplantation at Tampa General Hospital. The uh, kidney program uh, dates back to the first transplant being performed in 1974. Uh, since that time, we've performed uh, over 5,000 kidney transplants. And next year will be our 40th anniversary of the renal transplant program. Over the past few years, there's been an increased development of uh, paired kidney donation with the uh, registry. And this allows people that have a potential living donor but are either uh, blood group incompatible or immunologically incompatible with their recipient to still provide an opportunity to donate that organ and then allow their uh, potential recipient to receive. So this is a, a very uh, labor-intensive uh, logistic nightmare, but when it works, it uh, is really helps many, many people uh, across the United States. So we're uh, very happy to be part of this. And we've done multiple transplants from this arrangement. Hi, I'm Dr. James Huang. I'm the Surgical Director of Renal Transplantation here at Tampa General Medical Group. I'm very honored to be have uh, participate with uh, one of the second largest uh, kidney exchange chains ever done in this world. I understand this is the second largest chain and we're very proud that we were um, part of this uh, process and uh, encourage other people to be uh, donors, uh, either living or deceased, um, so that our, transplant, our patients can be transplanted. So I encourage everyone to uh, get involved, get educated about the organ uh, shortage that we have. Uh, talk to your family members about your wishes uh, for donation of your organs. Uh, after you passed and consider this as an incredible way to give the gift of life uh, to um, society.